This is the first in a series of public awareness and engagement that rolls out during this phase. We planned this campaign, as you heard the governor say, for phase two of our vaccination rollout as vaccines have become more available to more people. The multilingual, multi-channel campaign will run for the next five months, including on Telemundo and Univision, and as you heard, in multiple channels. And we're very pleased, in fact, that we were able to also make this happen in American Sign Language on a vlog. As the governor indicated, the campaign is grounded in research, building on the results of a survey of 1,000 Massachusetts residents that identified motivators and barriers about the vaccine and the kind of messages that may resonate. That research revealed that while 47% of those surveyed were confident in the vaccine and eager to get vaccinated, 53% had concerns that ranged from taking a wait-and-see approach to more hesitant. The survey data also confirmed that the most trusted sources were as one's, one's health care provider. Not surprising, communities of color and people lower, in lower socioeconomic status were disproportionately represented in that, in that majority who were taking a wait-and-see approach or more hesitant. Whereas the 47% early adopters, if you would, were eager to get vaccinated or predominantly white and more affluent. We tapped into the expertise of a 18-member external communications advisory group, public health marketing, communications professionals, representing large and small hospitals, community organizations, community health centers, local health, public relations, and trade associations in the development of the campaign. We very much appreciate their input and feedback and to answer the call to help. Down the road, as the general population roll, rollout gets closer, additional TV spots will feature residents of the Commonwealth talking about the reason for getting vaccinated. In the call center, as the governor indicated, the vaccine scheduling resource line for individuals 75 and older is launched. The line can be accessed by calling 211, and it's immediately available in English and Spanish. And as the governor said, the staff have access to a translation line with multiple hundreds of languages available. We understand that while we experience a constrained vaccine supply, people are likely feeling a bit anxious to get their appointments booked. More vaccines are coming, and the news that J&J &J has been submitted for its EUA, EUA is promising. But for those, for those with internet access, the best way for individuals in the eligibility groups is to book an appointment by visiting the mass.gov slash COVID vaccine, and we encourage you to do that. The vaccine scheduling resource line is currently only for individuals 75 and older, and yes, they're gonna ask you what age, what, what year you were born, and is meant to help individuals who may not have a family member, a neighbor, or someone to help them find an appointment online, or they do not have internet available to them. In order to best support these individuals, please, we ask that only those 75 and older who need this service use it. This last 10 months, much of which has, been, has forced all of us to change the way we interact with the rest of the world, has been particularly hard for older adults. The vaccine scheduling resource line is for them, to help them with the scheduling process and get one step closer to normalcy. In closing, I also want to thank our local councils on aging and our state's network of 25 aging services access points for all of their efforts during the pandemic, but particularly this past week as we were preparing for today's launch. They were sort of our secret shoppers in helping our older adults get, you know, be assured and help them book appointments.